You are watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. On Sunday, the permanent mission of the Kingdom of Cambodia has delivered a statement to the United Nations office in Geneva, Switzerland. The statement stresses diverted opinions on remarks made on the 3rd of December by the spokesman of the Office of High Commissioner for Human Rights, Rupert Colville. Rupert Colville's declarations were regarding the nature of an investigation into crime-related suspects and a handful of activists. EAC News reporter Yuri Matosko has the details. Cambodian's permanent mission to the United Nations, Aung San Kun, has dismissed allegations from the Office of High Commissioner for Human Rights about the human rights situation in the country. The statement released was in response to OHCHR's spokesperson Rupert Colville. The permanent mission's answer to OHCHR says that their statement about Cambodia is misleading, politicized, selective and prejudiced. The response statement stresses that OHCHR is under the obligations to respect sovereignty and domestic jurisdiction of UN member states. At first, the permanent mission stresses that Cambodian authorities have never taken any crimes reports lightly, with all investigations being deeply examined until the suspects are arrested and their crimes confessed, facing a commission. The statement has also requested OHCHR to send, in any case, concrete counterproof of a misleading investigation, adding that it is expected from all UN agencies genuine cooperation without hidden agenda and interferences of internal affairs. The Cambodian permanent missions have denounced the spokesperson's call views statement as repeated attempts to politicize the issue, clarifying that in Cambodia, an affiliation with a political party has never been a license to break the law with impunity. It has stressed that Cambodian's penal code was crafted with the assistance of Western experts, with defendants having full opportunity to be heard, including the right to counsel, and to disprove the indictment as part of the rights to due process. The statement concludes that instead of targeting domestic affairs of a foreigner state, the OHCHR should have devoted scarce resources to address a worrying trend of human rights challenges, such as hate speech, disinformation and incitement, including vaccine discrimination disguised under the freedom of expression. Yuri Matosko, EAC News.